Så nu, nu när vi har alla bästa spelarna eh, tillgängliga att representera sina land. Eh, Kanada, USA, Ryssland. Det, ja, det spelar ingen roll vilket lag man... <laughs> <laughs> I got my I know. I was just saying to him, don't say anything. Let's see how long he goes here. That's right. Yeah. I was like wasting yeah. good faces. <laughs> Let's have some fun. I still remember the day, well, I think it's the first time I met you, was at the draft. Yeah, it was. Uh, they asked me if you want to come in and, and be part of the draft, and I said, oh, that would be a lot of fun. As we got closer, I think our pick was 17, and you know, as we got to 10, our group started talking that they would like to move up. We have this young Swedish defenseman that we really like, but we are not sure if he's going to be there at 17. And you hit the jackpot. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> I don't know what the other 14 teams no, were thinking, no, but I don't even remember. <laughs> Talking to Brian afterwards too, he's like, uh, "We really believe this kid is going to be a really good player, but you know, unfortunately, you're too old. You're not going to get a chance to play with him. Uh, he's probably going to take four years to develop." That obviously wasn't the case. I didn't, didn't never really thought I would have the chance to play with with you and and do it for as long as we did. And having the draft in Ottawa and and having you there, and you know, that for me is something that I'll always hold, probably among the highest memories that I'll have when, when my career is over. Our relationship, you know, when I came over, it started as more of a, you know, father-son type of relationship. You know, I'm so much younger than you are. You know, you've been there for so long and, and I was only 19 years old. Didn't really know much about life in general. I consider you one of my best friends and, and a close family member. Not only you, your entire family, your kids and everything. So now when we have the best players available for this tournament, you know, Canada, US, Russia, everybody has a great team. Is there any specific team you really feel like I would really like to play them, like to beat them? Everyone, obviously. I look forward mostly to play with the players that I play with on, on Team Sweden, you know, to be able to play with so many good players on the ice at all times is, is something that I I look forward to the most. I, I think too what's what's fun is usually when in the NHL, there's not that much difference in style of play throughout the league. No. But when you get a tournament like this, you have, uh, you know, Finland plays their they, style. Czech, yeah. a little different, more counterattacking. Russia, you know, obviously tons of skill and speed. And uh, I think you see different kind of hockey with different teams, which makes it, you know, obviously tougher to yeah. scout, but fun to play. Yeah, 100%. That's, that's also, you get the, as you say, the variation to get that, you know, feeling that every every game is different and every game matters and yeah. it's a short tournament. Playing Finland for me has always been very special, I think, and, and you know, it's always been a rivalry as, as long as I can remember, you know, but when you were playing the World Championships and, and World Cups down back in the 90s, was it still a major, major rivalry? It was, it, it really was. And it was, you know, big brother, little brother rivalry. Yeah. Like you really wanted to, be, whoever won was big brother and whoever lost was little brother. Well, Sweden, <laughs> you know, the bigger we country. Always won. And <laughs> we always won. Last 20 years here, Finland's getting closer and closer to Sweden in, in, in level of play. They've really come back strong. Their development has obviously been very good. A lot of good young players coming up, which is good for both uh, countries. I don't know how many years we played together. Four, four seasons maybe? You know, won Olympics, won World Championships, and, and you know, <laughs> he was comfortable. And then, I'm not going to say that I, I cried when, when, when you left us, but I almost did. And when you left to go to Detroit, I think it was really tough, uh, really tough to, uh, to get to process that it was going to happen. And I had to move on. I had to do a lot of things myself and take that next step, even though we still talked on a daily basis. And, we were always around. Uh, I think it was, you know, something that I, as a young guy, really needed at the time, you know, uh, to be able to really step into my own feet a little bit and take care of things that I just relied on you to do. And I, f I felt going into Detroit, moving there with the family, uh, uh, change is, is hard sometimes, and it, it, it was hard. You know, th there were times when, you know. Uprooting the family, we were extremely comfortable in Ottawa, and I felt to step I've, out I've of that grown, comfort Exactly, zone. I've grown. 
family has grown from it. To be able to come back to Ottawa, retire in Ottawa, was one of the moments I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And now moving back with the family, you know, settling back again, it just feels right. I'm really happy that, and I think you are too, and it was really important for you to come back and that you're gonna, you know, end your career in Ottawa because you are, you know, Mr. Ottawa.